Hey, what's up, everybody? It's Timothy Snipes. Welcome to part two on how to make a neighborhood house. So I did do a couple things off camera after we get done to see what would look better. And so if you notice in front, we added this little thing right here. To do this, all you're gonna do is right next to the stairs that we made in front of the front door, you're gonna come out three blocks, make it two wide. And then you wanna stack it up uh, only one, excuse me. And then you wanna lay uh, the stone slabs on top of the bricks. And then this middle brick right here, closest to the stairs, you wanna get rid of that stone slab and make a pillar going all the way up to the ceiling, which is also new right here. All it is is one slab going up, it's even with this block right here, one more slab on top of the pillar, and then it's a stone brick, regular block, and then it's more slabs. So that's all it is, and you just do that on both sides, and you should end up with this. One more thing that I also did to save some time, right here, it, I made it to where you can't see any of the stone bricks, like for the roof, it's all just snow. So if we got rid of some of it, you would see the stone bricks. And the reason for this, it also helps with the floor for right here, and I, I actually kind of think it looks better. All right, so now that we got over what I've done off camera, off the recording, let's get started. So let's come over to the garage. So we're gonna come to the left side of the garage if you're facing the front of the house, and we're gonna take out the snow, and then from this corner right here, we're gonna come out at 11. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 11. You wanna stack this up into where it's gonna be even with all the other walls here. So I believe it's either five tall. I think it's five tall. Okay, now we wanna extend it all the way out to Let's see, let's make sure we get this right, to right here, then have it extend out to where it be even with the other wall, FU cow. Now we have our garage, so that's how big our garage area is going to be. Let's make all of these walls five tall, from the ground up, shouldn't take too long. I'm kind of debating if this should be like the entire back of the house, because Actually, this house turned out a little bit bigger than I thought it would uh, so far. And so, I know in like my real house, the garage, like the back part of the garage, is the actual back part of the house as well. So we might do that, but we can always see what looks better. Alright, so we have that. Now let's come up here, also on the left side of the house, where we have this. I'm not sure if I added this in the video or not, but this used to be a block, but I made it to where it's... I got rid of it and then whoop and added a stone slab instead so it should be like a diagonal little corner so after doing the snow thing underneath the roof I realized we could also do more stuff with the roof actually so if we come uh, on the left side up here if we count one two three four five six seven on the seventh block you want to get rid of the stone slab right next to it all the way out to this last slab right here and now we're going to make, like, just get rid of all these blocks right here. And this is going to be like another window. So we can make this just a plain wall right here. Stack it all the, whoop. I think my swiftness ran out. That's why my reach distance, my reach distance isn't as far. Alright, so let's make a window right here. The window is only going to be, and we'll make it to where it's like that. Alright, now let's have the snow cover up the windows on the top, and then we can fill the windows in with the glass panes themselves. So fill these in. So how does that look from the front? Actually looks pretty good, I'm liking that a lot. Alright, so from here on back, what we're going to do is this is gonna, just going to be a plain wall, going all the way back to where it's going to be even with the end of the garage. So then stack this up, I believe, four, uh, four tall, having trouble speaking, couldn't get the words out. How's that look? Actually looks pretty good, I'm liking that a lot. So I kind of think we should start on the roof for the garage area. So what we're going to do for the roof for the garage area is we're going to use stone bricks, stone brick stairs, and then probably stone brick slabs. So the garage... I'm trying to think how we should do it. Like which way the roof should go. I think the roof should go this way. So if we have the stairs coming out like this. 
it would connect there we can put a block there to use the corner so if we keep stacking this up since we made it to where uh, we came out 11 so it actually should be an even number because we didn't count this block right here so 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 so we should be in perfect condition there let's put a stair here and then let's make the little roof itself let's see how tall it's going to be if it's going to be too tall we might end up using some slabs and yeah, that looks that actually looks pretty good all right now let's put stairs on each one of these and that's why we need an even number so the top looks like this with two stairs okay now what we want to do is every block like basically not every well, let's say every stone brick that's not underneath a stair we need to get rid of and you'll see why it's because we're gonna replace all the other ones with snow leave those now we're gonna place snow in here so just like this now what we're gonna do is we're gonna extend the roof out one farther from the house itself as so here we go all right then this next part is totally up to you if you want to add the stone bricks uh, also right here you can I'm not gonna do it I think it looks better the way it is let's do that there we go now we're even all right now let's have the stairs come all the way over to here to the big wall that we just added not too long ago and glory baby so we're gonna just extend all the stairs that we've put down for the roof just connecting to this big wall we might notice that the top stair it might get above the wall itself don't worry about that that will come later just because uh, there's also gonna be roof for the top uh, for the top of the house itself of course and so we can connect it then so don't worry about that so you can just stop it right here for now oh misplaced a block I think my swiftness ran out again. Has it really been four minutes already? Oh, it's quick. So we're gonna ex keep extending. We're almost done with the garage roof. Looks, it looks like two more, maybe three more to go. Misplaced. Oh, got it. Okay. All right. So the ones that overhang the house, you're just gonna stop them with everything else. So you would just stop it right here. So how does that look from the front of the house itself? It look, I think it will look better once we have the entire roof for the actual house done. So let's see, what do we want to do now? Over here, where we have the other part of this little porch, above the door, up here by the, these two windows, we're just going to make this a plain wall. All right, and so we're gonna have all of this back here from the garage come back and connect all the way over here. So basically, the entire back part of the house should be flat. I mean, that's how a lot of houses are these days. Well, I'm not sure about these days, but that's how my house in real life is. I mean, I still think it'll look pretty good. All right. Uh, what we're going to do now is just we're going to stack all this up and then we're going to add the windows later and then we might add even like a porch or something like that or a patio for the back door and you never know we actually might change something change some things up just because some things always look better you know and you can always test out what looks better so I encourage testing to see what you prefer and what you like more so we're stacking these up all the way up not the most fun thing to do in the world but it's got to be done oh can't place there we go yeah this is actually the first time I've actually made a house like this so I'm basically winging it I'm trying to think off the top of my head 
what would look better. So I'm sorry if you guys don't think it looks good. Uh, but everybody has their own opinions, of course. And I'm just trying to think of things off my head that will look better. Okay, so we're almost done with this big wall. Definitely taking some time to get it done. But a lot of big houses do take a lot of time, unfortunately. It looks like we have four more blocks to go after this. So I've been thinking about doing a new series on my channel. And it's basically like every video would be directed towards a certain subject. And that would be like how to build better, how to do this stuff better. So if you guys like that idea, uh, leave a comment saying I like the series. I know I have a lot of series and I wouldn't say they're in production yet, but we have a lot of ideas with me and some friends that we're, we're trying to come up with and hopefully we'll get them started pretty soon. Let's get rid of the roof in here because we don't need those anymore. There we go. Let's, let's see. Let's have the garage connect right here to the roof. So we're just going to make this wall come from the roof down. Okay. And one more row to go. Alright, so now that we, that's how big the actual house is going to be. Again, it's a pretty big house. It's a lot bigger than I intended it to be. But it's not really too big, in my opinion. Alright, so now let's make some of the roof for the front of the house. So this will be a little bit tricky just because I don't know how to describe it, but you're gonna have one roof that looks just like the garage roof, but then we're also gonna have roofs that come back in and meet with that roof. Like I said, it's kind of hard to explain how we're gonna do it, but hopefully you guys can follow along. All right, so let's take out some stone brick stairs. And then on this diagonal piece right here, we're gonna add a stair, so right there. We're gonna add a, another stair right here. And then we're gonna do the same thing that we did with the garage. Just add the stair steps going up. And we're gonna replace all of the stone bricks with snow. This is just faster in the meantime. That doesn't look right. So if we add stair here, stair there, stair there, stair there, and stair there. Stair here, stair there. I'm trying to think where I messed up. Oh, uh, I know where I messed up. The stair should be actually even with the, the snow right here. So that's where I messed up. You should have an even number of blocks, and it should come to a point with the stairs. So that's what you want. There we go, that's better. Alright, let's get rid of all the stone bricks. Make sure you don't get rid of the actual stairs themselves. And then we're going to, again, extend the stairs out one farther. Alright, now we're going to replace all of this with snow. And then, this house is, will technically be three floors, because it will have an attic. So that's what that looks like. Now let's add stairs sending out one farther so it's not even with the snow so I don't like that when I'm making my houses having two textures be exactly even with each other besides if they're windows if they're windows they look fine but with something like this I think it looks better having it just like this all right let's make a window one block above the other windows and the window is gonna be too wide so we need to clear out four blocks of space so then add the window right here and now we're going to put the glass panes in. As so. Alright, that looks pretty good. I'm actually liking this a lot. Actually, I say we move the window up one more block. So what we're going to do is add one block on top. Get rid of the one block on the bottom. And you'll see why here in a second. So if we get rid of this, add the glass panes again one more time. If we take a slab out and do this... I think that looks pretty good. Another thing you could do, if you don't want to use the slabs, if you don't think the slabs look good, you could always use stairs again. So it's all up to you. 
actually I think the stairs look a little bit better so I, I might stick with those all right so let's do the same thing right here that we did on the other side so if we add so let's just add the snow right now so it, it basically just stair steps going up is that right yep that should be right all right now let's add the stairs in get rid of that one have the stairs extend out one farther from the house or from the snow all right let's add another window so the window on this one was two blocks above so it should connect with right here I believe all right so if we get rid of those let's just add the stairs now so we know where the window should be take out your birch wood spruce wood excuse me uh, put those down now let's put the glass panes in how's that look we're looking extremely good so far I'm liking this house a lot actually alright so I'm not sure what we should do with this little piece right here so it is even so if we did make a little roof right here let's take some swiftness real quick so we make a little roof right here Yeah, I think this will work. Nice little small roof. All right, let's have it come back and connect with this roof and the other side as well. Oh, misplaced those ones the wrong way. I can't wait until we get upside down stairs in the 360 version of Minecraft. For you that don't know, I do get a lot of questions asking if I do play on Minecraft or if I play on PC no nope, I do all my videos on the 360 version of Minecraft I don't really I have the version of like uh, I have the PC version of Minecraft but it doesn't feel the same because I love having a controller alright so I think we're done for this house right now well I wouldn't say we're done with the house but we're done with this part we got a lot done we got a lot of the roofs done we finished the base of the house in the next part we're gonna go through and add a lot of windows maybe finish up the roof so thanks for watching guys please rate and subscribe and then stay tuned in for part three which will be on friday so thanks for watching guys